All right, how's it going, everyone? This is Black Mountain Forty Four coming back at ya. We are going to be playing some more tyranny. My sunset spire going all weird. Let's deal with that. Let's go up to it. I don't know why it's blowing. Maybe it's saying that I can do something to it. <coughs> Who knows? Maybe that's it. I don't know. Let's go in. So last time we pretty much completed a side quest. Um, oh, is it because Siren's here? Good day, Fatebinder. It's always nice to see you. What do you need? Uh, goodbye. Is that it? Is that why... Is that why it's... Uh, centered on the spire. There's a mysterious device. But that's on the other one. So here, uh, I'm going to build a forge. On the sunset spire, I'm gonna see what happens. Um, I think there might be a monthly cost. Yes. Okay. So I built the forge. Um, yeah, there's a maintenance cost. So I can also hire somebody. Uh, they teach control fire and control atrophy. I might want to get them. I think that that wouldn't be a, a bad choice. Metal armors. Teach control fire, control frost, control lightning, control vigor. I think that they're a good choice here. Let's go here. A merchant with one. Group camping supplies. <laughs> Could get Corpse Eye, Fendrick. Hmm. Um, uh, no one at the other one. Oh, where'd Siren go? <laughs> oh, she's right here. There's the Master of Smiths. I want you to forge something for me. Uh, we have these artifacts. But we don't have the crafting requirements. So. We need f six recruits at the forge. Okay. It says, Simplicity. We need three bronze ingots. Okay. That's cool. Let's uh, leave. Let's go to the burning library, because I said we would, um, when I'm anything, I ran my word. So, an uneventful day on the road is interrupted by a loud cry. An old man, dirt encrusted and wild eyed, dressed in no more than tattered rags, emerges from the brush, charging feebly towards you with a sword held high. For Apex! His sandals catch a tree root, send him tumbling into the dirt. His brittle blade strikes the ground first, snapping in two. Clutches his ribs and whispers a low groan, lying on the ground for an uncomfortably long time. His moans give way to rhythmic, heavy breathing, and just as you step forward to determine the old man has fallen asleep, picks himself up, wagging the useless blade at you. The day is ours, dogs of Kairos. Man continue, the man continues to ramble, and soon becomes clear that he believes himself late for the first battle of Apex. He is correct, he is correct in a sense. The battle was waged over two years ago. Blissfully unaware of his kinsman's failure, he demands your surrender before generously offering to settle for a mere ransom. Convince him to wage war against Graven Ash. You wait for the old soldier to finish his lengthy tirade before speaking. As he calms, you assure him that your interests in Apex's ones are one and the same, insisting the true aggressor is a shared enemy. Rogue Archon. 
Named Raven Hash fills the old man with seething rage, and it's all too easy to persuade him to take the fight directly to the Archon stronghold. He promised him the backing of a thousand tears, men, and point him towards Iron Hearth, helpfully drawing him a map. He sets off on the road, broken blade in hand, to the Archon's Mountain Fortress, where hundreds of Raven Ash's elite await him. <laughs> no, man. That's silly. Alright, so we jump this cliff, and then we keep going. Here we are at the Burning Library entrance. Burning Library. Alright, Scarlet Chorus, people are outside, and there's fire. So, technically, our character's been here before. Um, you know, we haven't, so... We have no idea what's gonna happen. So, we have a missive from Fatebinder and Myothis. Uh, there's probably gonna be a quest change. No, there isn't. Okay. Subject of Spires. So, salutations, Linux. This is, different. this is difficult to separate fact from superstition when it comes to edicts, as it seems only Kairos knows how it all works. The rest of us are left to live in fear and ponder it all. Kairos' edicts, Kairos edicts are a sort of magic above and beyond even the Archons. I dare say the edicts are stronger than Kairos, as there is no evidence Kairos can willingly stop an edict once set in motion. Which is, in part, why Kairos' edicts seem to have an until or unless clause in their wording. I know the edict, as powerful as it is, requires a human voice to complete the casting. Thus the Overlord has people like you proclaim edicts cast far from the Imperial throne. The magic is Kairos' magic, but the human voice is the final carrier or trigger to complete the magic phenomenon. And here's what's most fascinating, at least as far as you're concerned. There have been dozens of mortal agents who have been made to claim edicts. Two-thirds of them die within a decade, and many gave reports of lingering mystic scars from the ordeal. There have also been a handful to resolve or break an edict. These until and unless causes get fulfilled from time to time, we see a similar pattern in history. Those who resolve an edict often live short lives, and many speak of arcane side effects of the shattered edicts. Here's where you're unique. To the best of my fact-finding, you're the first to proclaim and break the same edict. Whatever mystical power is involved in the creation and destruction of such magics, you're the first to stand at the terminus of both. Now that I know the spires can be awoken, it makes sense that if anything can or would wake them from slumber, a shattered edict seems a likely culprit. Kairos has other edicts in place throughout the tiers. If you truly wish to learn more, perhaps you should take it upon yourself to shatter those edicts. After all, if Kairos did not wish for the edicts to be broken, why include a termination clause? Myothis. As about the spires. Dear Myothis, it seems wise to know one's own domain, and seeing as I'm now the master of the mountain spire, I have to learn all that I can. If you would share with me what you know of the spires, I would be in your debt. I'm going to start with what I know and have observed so far. The mountain spires seem to awaken at about the same instant that Kairos' edict of execution was put to rest. There was a burst of arcane energy that drowned out my senses, and I awoke at the summit of the spire in what seemed to be just a few heartbeats of time. Atop the spire is an old sculpture of sorts, and it seems to be the core of the spire's mystic energy. I haven't seen visions and receiving sensations from the sculpture. It seems odd to describe it as talking to me, but that seems the closest analogy. Am I the first to report such things? There are other spires elsewhere in the world, correct? Linux. Send it. Alright, so. Fast mode on. Fire. Corpses of sages are skewered on these spikes. Their skin has been blackened by the heat of the magma. Curious. Where? I don't. I don't see it. Oh, I think it's up here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's fully explore and see if there's anything down here, right? Alright, good thing I did. Here's some Scarlet Chorus. Fulant. 
Fate Binder, have you come to torture me too? He's Sage's Guild. Uh, we can look. The shelf is well separated from the surrounding area and looks quite perilous to scale. Okay, Foul Murmur. Twisted man leans over two forms on the ground. One a robed figure covered in bruises, the other a soldier horribly burned, lying motionless to the side. I would welcome you properly, Fate Binder, but my hands are full. If you are here on business, you should speak with our Ill with our leader, the censor. Our tends to the east, near the main entrance to the library. Our troops are making great progress, and the ruins below and could benefit from your assistance. I know how this must look, but it's all in compliance with Tunin's law. If you don't mind, I'm eager to resume my work. Well, looks like that we can't save him, but I think that there may be something. Won't happen. Alright, so there isn't anything down there, but we do know of this. So let's go ahead and get it. Sigil of, reach. Sigil of Reaching Grants. Let's see if we already know it. That. Oh, damn it. That's one thing. Learn it. Sigil of Reaching Grasp 2. Okay. So let's see. Sigil of Frost. Uh, sigil of Distant Impact. Range Sigil. Accent that increases the range of spells. So this makes the spell. Forms a massive frozen spike of ice from the ground under target's feet, impaling and freezing them. Alright, so... Uh, what's the distance? Range is 12 meters. Let's take it off. Range is 8 meters. It's decent, I guess. Let's keep going up, right? Fate Binder, the Bloodlane's legendary. The sensor would be honored to receive you. <laughs> Iron Greaves. This is a Bloodhound. Oh, there's something in there. I'm out of practice, but I'll try. Scarlet Fury. There's the sensor. Along with a Blood Chanter and a Beast Wolf. Fast mode off. Ah, if it isn't the Fate Binder of Tunin. What an unexpected surprise. I am the censor, and welcome to my camp. It's good to see a familiar face. Sadly, I must say I can't entertain you properly at the moment. You come at a very busy time for me. You make it a bold push to explore the library's depths. However, before we finish our pleasantries, you could satisfy my curiosity. Why are you here? Rat tasked me with retrieving the knowledge from the ruins here. Ah, you must mean the Silent Archive. I had hoped to have retreated already to avoid just such a problem. Fortunately, we haven't finished our search yet. If your goal is to find it, you should know that's not as easy as just walking in there and taking it. It seems that the tricky sages were afraid someone might want to know their previous, their precious archive. Sorry, let's <laughs> restart that. Seems that the tricky sages were afraid someone might want to take their precious archive and hid it behind a barrier. Arcane, impenetrable. Really a shame how many men we lost to rebounding spells. So, my men are looking for the passcode to get behind it, to get beyond it. We don't know how many parts there are, just that they're somewhere inside the library. Not even these scholars have been able to find the pieces for us. Not yet. So I gave everyone some incentive and made a game out of it. You are welcome to enter the library, provided you agree to play by the rules of the competition. <laughs> if you want to find the silent archive, you must take part in my game too. You have sages working with you, how do you manage that? Of course, can be most persuasive at times, and you know how we like to employ unconventional incentives. But tell me what you know about the Edict of Fire. I believed I believe the silent archive at the heart of the Velum Citadel was never destroyed. If that's true, it'd explain why the edict is ongoing. 
If someone were to get down there and remove the silent archive from the library, I'm willing to wager it could be used to fulfill Kairos' will. What is a silent archive? That's the sage's most guarded treasure, held in the Grand Chamber, thought to contain more knowledge than all the tears combined. Stop bringing me words I've already taken or I'll have your head. Put them in a separate pile so you know I've had them, or ask someone to read them to you. If I have to take in the same inane missive one more time, you will regret it. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Now where was I? Oh yes, the Silent Archive. Our scouts have reason to believe it survived. Some magic keeps the library from being swallowed by fire. So perhaps it too protects the Silent Archive. We've come to destroy the Archive in Kairos' name. You're going to destroy the Silent Archive? An, art an artifact with more knowledge than all the tiers combined? Of course, Fatebinder. It is forbidden knowledge after all. It's not like Narat doesn't have a plan. Never fear. We will deal with the Silent Archive appropriately. What happened with that missive? What was that flash of light? I don't see how that's pertinent, but if you must know, you're not the only one with unique talents in the tiers, Fatebinder. Not everyone needs to use their eyes to read. Send me to a library seemed obvious. What a perfect way to collect knowledge. Narat has taken a particular interest in me and my talents, and is working with me to refine them. Did you just imply, to a fate binder, that you intend to retain all the knowledge in the Silent Archive? Certainly not. I have no idea how you got that idea, so put it out of your head. Narat knows Kairos' laws and would never do anything to openly break them. Tell me about this game of yours. Several Scarlet Chorus teams were dispatched down into the ruins of the library, each with some sages to serve as guides. The team who completes the passcode gets through the barrier and gains access to the Scion Archive. Oh, will face glory and reward. The others? Only one is allowed to succeed. If you wish to join the Merry Hunt, you will be yet another team racing against the others. Though, you won't be getting any sages, of course. I agree to the rules of competition. Excellent. Normally, I would ask you to prove your honesty and loyalty to the chorus, but your actions elsewhere have already shown that. You are free to enter. But I would still ask a favor of you. My assistant, Val Murmur, has something he needs done. If you would be so kind, he is somewhere nearby. I believe he was recently occupied talking to one of the prisoners. Oh, and I would watch yourself inside, Fatebinder. While I personally wouldn't have given the sages any warning, they still were unable to prepare completely for the destruction. <laughs> there are a few areas that were completely covered in lava before they stopped the building's collapse. It's a shame we had to lose all those precious treasures, but every war has its casualties, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Alright. Trial of Archons. Okay, so we have one thing against Graven Ash. Uh, so, Sensor wants forbidden knowledge at the Silent Archive, using Herkian Bronze, um, won the Forge Baron Master, taken from Tunin's care and sent to him. At the Burning Library, Sensor pit Horde soldiers against one another as part of a sadistic game. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really, really like siding with Tunin um, as well. Uh, just because I like being a fate binder and T Tunin's cool. You know, he's all about justice, but his own justice, right? Let's talk with Foul Murmur first. I already did. Fate binder returns. So what can I help you with, Fate Binder? Uh Sensor says you have a task for me. That I do, though we've captured and subdued most of the surviving sages, those that escaped the library rallying behind their de facto leader, Renata. The censor wants her killed to make sure that any remaining sages don't get ideas about taking this region back. The trick is finding her. As luck may have it, one of our patrols picked up this one. One of Renata's own. Perhaps you should speak with him. He's been a rather poor conversationalist so far. Be careful though, Fatebinder. He doesn't have much left in him. If you're going to try to get some information from him, be sure you ask the right questions. As for me, I can use a break. Interrogation is thirsty work. 
Too many one-sided conversations. You can find me in camp if you need anything. I know one-sided conversations, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, boy? Know what I, know what I mean? All right, interrogate Fulmont. So, let us quick save. Talk with him. Do you know what you will, Fate Binder. Matters not if I die, so long as my school's work lives on. What do the sages want with the burning library? That's not how to get information. You need to use your fists. Not your enemy. Empty promises mean nothing. How can I find Renata? Someone is a slow learner, isn't he? Strike the captain, please. Not sure that's a. Uh, not sure that's the uh, best way to get information out of a learned creature. Perhaps I could have a word. If you think you can get the information, you're welcome to try. Brother Fulant, we have lost, lost. Look what has become of our archival fortress. There is no wisdom in clinging to what was. If our efforts are not to be wasted, you must help us meet with any and all the sages still alive and kicking. I found amnesty by working with the Fate Binder here, and if you help us, the others could stop leaving his prey. There's even, uh, <coughs> talks of us being allowed to keep some of our old writings if we play nice. But if you keep resisting, sweet. If you keep resisting, we can't help you. Or the rest of our brothers and sisters. You're bowing to the Overlord's justice bringers? Naturally, you would. You've been arguing for surrender since long before Cairo's fortunes marched south. It was a stupid plan then, it's a stupid plan now. Now is this... And how has stubborn defiance worked so far? I'm saying here is living proof that we can live on, our knowledge can live on, but we need to be willing to swallow our pride a bit. This all sounds like it might be our only option. If our lore could be saved, go and talk to Renata. If you want the other survivors to go along with all this, you'll need to convince her first. Last we traded missives, she was laying low in effigy. She's probably still there. Alright. Kill Renata. <laughs> Alright, so that is part of the boring library. So, I think before we go, we go ahead and we kill Renata. Uh, so, I'm gonna say we head out to Effigy, it's gonna take seven hours, and we will try to take her out. Um, that way we can sort of complete the outside side quest, right? So we just What do here. we have here? There's a little thing. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Right click. Compare. Uh, it's doing it to the wrong things. Let's just bring it in. This is Sigil of Precise Action. So then let's take that. Oh, there's a beast woman with the sages. Now, one second, because I want to see. Is this weapon better? It is. It is. There we go. We're finally starting to get good weapons. All right, take out your swords, but not Just a problem, boss. Heads up, we have company. Alright, Barrack, you take care of them. We'll go ahead and rhyme spike them. Not a problem, <laughs> boss.
Barrack right in there? Yeah, he's fine to call ya. Sage Apprentice, Sage. Granada is right there. Sage Apprentice is over here. Okay. Watch my bleeding! <laughs> the game. Back at effigy. Okay. So. We are loading in. Alright, so let's... Curious. Maybe cut that part out. So. I think what I want to do is I want to go over here. Because there's some, uh, there's a sage. Yeah, first things first. You got it. No. Oh. I'll do it for the north. God, you guys are fucking stupid. Cast. That's that thing. Now attack. You're gonna skew him, you're gonna do that. Barrack, you are going to. Right. Okay. Send them at me in waves! Oh! No idea how to manage this, right? Just, just okay. I forgot. You just Barricade from the other side. Alright, so that's Sage Apprentice. And that's Renata. So let's quick save here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so first, get verse. Duelist. So we used to have pig on a spit, grave digger, Fury's Rush, Tongue of Foes, Grave Digger. Pig on a spit might not be too bad. Quick save. Okay, verse. You got it. The Sage Apprentice, and then you're gonna come back. Come at me, Grave Meat. <laughs> Alright, skewer the Sage Apprentice. Let's make sure that this apprentice doesn't live. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
who Akalia is, but we will attack her next. So, we will take her out, and then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take everything that we can uh, from this fucking village. Okay. So, what's this? Cow of Disbelief. That actually seems pretty cool. Give that to you. Everything else goes in there. F6, because don't want to fuck Graven Ash, protect. Again. I will aid you. Let's Attack see Acadia. what falls out of you. Alright, so let's Get just to pass it for you, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, you didn't, you didn't stand a chance. You didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh, and we also found this. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna cut that last part out, um, I think I am, but, <laughs> okay, just put it in here, um, but, <laughs> I, uh, let's be off, yeah, I, uh, I tried to attack from the front, that was a bad idea, uh, I completely failed, like, horribly, you know, the, they all made fun of me, Mom. Um, so, you know, since everyone pretty much made fun of me the whole time, uh, that, that was pretty much it. And then there's Merrick. Dude, make Merrick right here. What are you doing here, Betrayer? I have nothing to say to you. Captured. A captive disfavored at my mercy. I can't pass the, up this opportunity, bud. It's lay a bound on our man. I cannot stomach your brutality. Fatefinder Merrick is disfavored and deserves better. I so squeamish now. We've killed plenty of disfavored before, and this won't be the last. Yes, and I count them all with sorrows. I twist in my bedroll at night. As much as their deaths bring me unease, I know that they serve a purpose of bringing order to this campaign. Obscure and bewildering as I might find it. It serves nothing, helps no one, brings needless agony to a good Northman. Call me squeamish if you must, I vehemently object. I will leave you to your misery. I'll do it for the north. Mainly because I don't really want to piss. I don't really want to piss uh, Barrack off too much. Um, let's go back to the burning library. Let's cash that in. Um, just have to go to Foul Murmur. He's up here. Sage helped us out. Talk to Foul Murmur. Fate Binder. Have you managed to spill Renata's guts yet? Uh, I've taken care of Renata. 400 rings. Favorite card course. Uh, good. Kairos knows we didn't need her on our tail. The chorus rewards those who serve. We can continue our work in peace now that Renata will no longer be bothering us. Alright. So on that note, 
we will be heading in on the next episode. Um, for now, I think this is where we're going to call it quits. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, you know, I, I'm really enjoying this game. I enjoyed it before on the Disfavored campaign, but this is bringing up a, a whole new level of interest. So I want to thank you guys for watching, supporting. Um, you know, if you if you really enjoy my content, subscribe. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs it up. If you disliked it, thumbs it down. Uh, give me some constructive criticism if you want. Um, but other than that, just want to thank you for your time. Hope that you all have a great day. And uh, this is Block Mountain 44. Out.